Hello, 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 hello. We are going to be drawing Zulius today. He is my favorite centaur world character that is a centaur. And as you know, the first thing that we do, we start with a circle. In this case, his face is more of an oval. And his eyes are mostly oval with a bit of flatness at the bottom. So you can either draw it as a circle, or you can draw it a bit flat. This one gets really close to the edge and has a little bit that goes over. Now, for his smile, you can either do it as just a regular smile. They make a lot of really weird <laughs> expressions on the show. So let's stick with a sideways smile, because that fits him the most. They don't have any eyebrows, so expression needs to be completely from the eyes and whatever the mouth is doing. Now his ears are like a an upside down teardrop kind of shape, like that. So you'll find a point, his start almost directly in the middle of his eyes, so right above is where you're going to start, like that, and then there's a little line in them, and they have little connectors down here, so just swoop, swoop, and then his mane is a rectangle right in the middle. and then it will arch around his head like that and then disappear and then you can make the lines for the zebra all right his neck is pretty simple now while his face is the most simple part of his body. His chest and his legs are going to be the most difficult, but that's okay, we're gonna do it together. He has a lot going on between the shoulder blades, and then it narrows down closer to his waist. Since the trunk of the body is just a stack of boxes, we're gonna start with one like that. I would draw lighter, draw really light so it's easy to erase. It doesn't really matter whenever you're using a tablet or some form of electronic to draw, but whenever you're drawing with paper you definitely need to be drawing really lightly. And with a real person with their neck, you would have the muscle extending from the neck to the shoulders. He does not have that. It just goes straight into it. So we're going to do that. It's like the joints. And he has his arms crossed, kind of like a pretzel. So the simplest way to do this is to just determine where the arms go in their fullest. Like that. He has one over the other and one that slips underneath. And he's got tiniest little exposed fingers over here. And then collarbone muscle. And then his belly button. Okay, now for the really fun part. We have that and then the back side. So we're gonna have a circle and then a slightly bigger circle back here. And then just break it up into shapes. So you've got the middle part, that's where these point to. 
So we know the middle part. Now his legs start on either side of that. You're going to have these, and it does not have to be perfect. If you look back on this and decide that you don't like the proportions, you can always go back and try again. Proportions are one of the essence of drawing that you just have to learn as you go. You start to recognize it in pieces. See, like right now. It looks, it doesn't feel right to me, even though that's basically what it looks like on him. Because his proportions are weird. I keep yawning. Oh my goodness. And then you've got his backside. And then horses and equestrian animals have such an interesting back leg design. So we'll go like that for these muscles, and then it back just the littlest bit, comes back down like that, the ball joint, and then the other one. Now he's got a little tiny tail with one, two, three. Two, three. Now for the fun part is the stripes. All zebras look different. They all have different stripes. So when you're wanting specifically to do Zulius, you can get it as close to correct as you want. But in all honesty, as long as it's got stripes, you can pretty much tell it's a zebra. these and this one right here that's interesting splits in the middle another one that goes like that another one that goes under one two one, two. We can make these look clean when we do the line art. Looks like he has two wider ones on the top parts, and then on the back legs, two smaller ones, and on the front, just the one. Then the hoof. Okay. As you can tell, my proportions are a little weird, so whenever I'm doing the cleanup of the line art, I'm going to want to adjust a few things. So I'm going to make him lighter, and then we're going to draw over him. All right. I need to make his face a little wider. It is indeed an oval, but it's not that narrow of an oval. My goodness. Okay. Now the eyes. This one needs to be closer to the edge so it sticks out just a little bit. And then we're going to erase. Teardrop shape. Mm. There we go. I need to make my eraser real tiny to fit in here. There we go. And. We'll get his mane. His 
So cute. He's such a sassy character. I love him. I like that even though he's sassy, he's not mean to certain characters. I got so focused on the ear, I didn't even realize it was significantly smaller than the other one. Mistakes are okay. Because if mistakes weren't okay, I'd be dead by now. Okay. Yeah. His look bigger than that. Once again, we're going to try again. Make him a bit wider, too. Oh, you got to be bold. Get big ears. There we go. And two little hairs up top. Leave a comment if you noticed that before I did. Okay. Neck. Big shoulders. Super muscly. There we go. And little tiny fingers. Just doing whatever. Collarbone. Chest. There we go. There we go. Straight part of the leg. The joint. The hoof. We're going to go ahead and fill that in. The joint. Hoof. And... Nope. We just gotta be bold. Just gotta do it. Don't sit and hesitate or else you'll make it all wonky. And... We're so close. So close. Now we've got the little tail. Okay. And aside from giving him the stripes, the line art is done. <laughs> 